going to be talking about power fuels and smart cards on Nutrisystem. I had somebody ask me to do this video in one of the comments on my last video showing my one month results. So this is that video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. I am doing the Uniquely Yours Ultimate Plan, which includes all of the foods that you need for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack. They're custom tailored to my needs and also to my weight loss goals. So that plan is kind of like the big kahuna, the big package that they have through Nutrisystem. And that's the one I chose because it was just the one that had the most convenience, the least amount of uh, my own meal prepping and going to the grocery store as possible. The Nutrisystem plan is designed to give you the right amount of nutrients for your body. So that's why we have to incorporate smart carbs, our power fuels, and vegetables so that we have a well-rounded diet and our bodies are getting exactly what it is that they need and we're not starving and we're also just kind of learning how to maybe eat a different way. If you're like me and you got to your second week and you started thinking, oh no, I have to integrate in my power fuels and my smart carbs and I'm not quite sure how to do that. I didn't know this at first. I'm really glad to share this with you because maybe you're like me and you didn't find it either for a while, but they have a grocery guide and the grocery guide is gonna give you exactly what you can go to the grocery store and buy for your power fuel, smart carbs, extras, and free foods. What is a power fuel? Power fuels are gonna be lean meats, low fat dairy, and things like nuts. A power fuel is at least five grams of protein or higher. You can look at your packaging on the Nutrisystem Foods and see where it shows. And if you can see that right there, it's going to show you that there's 15 grams of protein in this specific food. This is the barbecue chicken. And the 15 grams of protein is really high. And usually the breakfast items are going to be a little lower in protein. The lunch items are going to be a little higher. And then the dinner items are going to be your highest in the amount of protein that they provide. So these are really, um, kind of laid out for you to have your highest protein amount of foods from Nutrisystem towards the end of the day. I'm not really uh, thrilled with that so much because I feel like we need the energy early, I need the energy early on in the day, but that's why I guess they add in these extra power fuels and Nutrisystem foods alone are not gonna be high enough protein for you, especially early on in the day. Breakfast item like this muffin right here only has seven grams of protein. Seven grams of protein is not that bad, but they also say, so I'm gonna eat this blueberry muffin for breakfast, but I'm also gonna add in one scrambled egg. Now I have my protein for the day. Now I can feel full. And then two to three hours later, I'm also going to be eating another power fuel, which is protein. And then at lunch, I'm going to be having maybe this red beans and rice right here. And that has nine grams of protein in it. And then I'm gonna two to three hours later, eat another power fuel along with a smart carb, which is gonna be five grams of protein or more. And then at dinner, I will eat a high protein dinner such as this barbecue chicken and pair it with a salad. And it's also recommended that you would have it with a whole wheat roll so you're also getting your smart carb. So it makes a lot of sense kind of how they have it set up. But when you, I was doing my first week, I was really finding that because I wasn't adding in any extra power fuels or smart carbs on my own, I had to really look at the packaging and say, okay, for breakfast, I had this much protein. So for lunch, I need to pick the higher protein amount of, of food out of my lunch options during just that first week to make it through to the next time I was gonna eat, just to feel full. And I hope that makes sense, but honestly, there's no real like science behind it that I had a smaller protein, like a breakfast bar for breakfast that morning. I would definitely pick the higher of whatever the protein was for that afternoon. So I would look and see what I had in my starter kit for lunches and I'd pick the one with the highest amount of protein if I was just feeling really famished that day and eat that for lunch. That just helped me during the first week. Carbs. Your smart carbs are gonna be um, your one time a day, you're gonna add in a smart carb. Power fuels are gonna be your with your breakfast, mid-morning snack and your afternoon snack. So you're gonna add in three power fuels, one smart carb. And the smart carb can look like a wide variety of foods. It can be fruits, hummus, whole grains, beans, legumes, things like that. And then you can't forget about your vegetables. You have to eat four servings of vegetables a day. And it's one cup of uncooked vegetables or half a cup of cooked vegetables. So one cup raw, half a cup cooked. And one cup of raw carrots is a lot of food. And that's kind of one of my favorite vegetable go-tos because it's just easy, it's fast. And right now I'm home with my kids, so it's not such a big deal. But when I go back to my office job and I'm running, um, you know, from 
work to kids stuff and then to dinner and you know I just tend to not take care of myself as well when I'm working. I'm really trying to prepare myself and get in habits now. How can I still make sure I'm taking care of myself on the go with Nutrisystem? On the Uniquely Yours plan you can choose your foods. I went in and I said now I, I don't want as many of the microwavable lunches for instance but instead I'd rather have some bars so that I knew when I go back to work, I'm gonna have a reserve of bars in case I'm nowhere near a microwave. I'm preparing myself so that I don't fall off the wagon, so that I don't end up going like last resort, oh gosh, I have nothing to eat, so I'm just gonna eat anything I want. And plus, if you're not eating every two to three hours, your body starts to go into starvation mode. It starts to want to hold on to everything. It's worrying, oh gosh, what if she doesn't feed me? Oh, we're going back to that now. Okay, everybody just batten down the hatches, hold on to everything she's got. Don't let any of it go. It messes with your metabolism. It really does. I have seen that. That's what, what I was talking about in some of those other videos I've done about yo-yo dieting. So this has really been a good thing for me to kind of have to stop and think about what am I going to eat? making sure that I have that planned out for the day so that I'm not thrown off track. So just gotta think about yourself a little bit. Self-care is really important in mamas, I get it. We have a lot of things to think about and usually we are the last ones. This is supposed to help me to start being able to take care of me better, okay? So that I can be my healthier me. Beyond your smart carbs, your power fuels, and your vegetables. There are freebies and extras, and then they really, 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 really stress that you drink 64 ounces of water a day, at least. It's not that hard, but you need to do it over the entire course of the day. So recommendation here, lesson learned, drink at least eight ounces of water within the first 30 minutes that you wake up. Don't try and cram in all your water towards the end of the day, and all of a sudden you've realized, I haven't drank my water today, let me drink it really fast. It's gonna make you sick, and miserable and bloated and it's not actually gonna be doing its job. Okay, so let's jump right into talking about power fuels. So again, check that grocery guide out. I'm gonna actually put a picture of it up here and I'll put the links in the description below so if you forgot what I said or where to find them, you can go check out the links in the description. But the power fuels, they want you to have um, between 80 to 120 calories a piece and your smart carbs, they want you to do the same. It's um, 80 to 120 calories. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat. This is kind of an array of foods that I eat on a regular basis during the week. Not every day, obviously, you're not allowed to eat this much food. But these are some of my smart carbs right over here. These are my power fuels here in the center and, and my vegetables. All right, so let's talk about vegetables. These are just some of the vegetables that I eat on a regular basis that I keep in my house, but the list is longer than this, obviously. These are just the ones I like. So I love zucchini, and zucchini is a good dinner vegetable for me. So I will do like a half a cup of this zucchini cooked. I'll just cook the whole thing at once and then eat half a cup of it, which is about half of the zucchini. It depends on how big your zucchini is. And then I can pair that with one of my Nutrisystem lasagnas. I also like to eat fresh spinach so sometimes I'll cook it and I'll season that and eat that with like pizza I also love artichoke hearts and I think that canned is just easier right now so I do canned artichoke hearts and I can actually just cook those you know, on the stove as well. These are my to-go vegetables. I like to take these just, you know, throughout the day and making sure that I'm eating them because not everybody's gonna take time to stop and cook, right? Right. <laughs> okay, um, these are just good add-ins for salads. You know, I love these little snacking tomatoes, so that's what I Let's eat. Let's talk about extras. You can have three extras a day. Extras can include anything like low fat salad dressings. You can have um, olive oil. And those, those have to be in specific amounts. They can't just be however much olive oil you want. Obviously that's not a good idea. Um, but that'll be on your grocery guide. Also, you can have black or green olives if you'd like. You can have cream cheese. You can have a tablespoon of avocado. You know, you kind of need a little bit of healthy fat. Today, smart carb and power fuel combination, I'm gonna be doing oatmeal and peanut butter. And I'm doing oatmeal and peanut butter together because 
even though it is May, it's cold today here in Tennessee, and I really want some warm comfort food. The Smart Carb serving for oatmeal is half a cup prepared. I'm gonna prepare it just like I was gonna prepare half a cup uncooked, but I'm going to cut that in half once it's cooked because if you do half a cup um, dry, it's actually 140 calories. And then for the power fuel, I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of peanut butter, and that will be my smart carb and my power fuel for the afternoon. So I went ahead and measured out half a cup of dry oats here, and I'm just gonna dump those into the bowl and prepare them just like I normally would. And I just use a regular tablespoon to just scoop out some peanut butter. So you guys can have a tablespoon measuring cup, or if you don't have that, you just have an actual tablespoon, just go ahead and scoop out a little bit. Mine's not perfect, I'm sure it's not the exact measurement, but that's just what I do. So I'm gonna leave this out until last when I prepare my oatmeal, then I'll put in the peanut butter. So I'll show you guys what I do when I make my oatmeal. mixed up and ready to go and the peanut butter melts beautifully see there you can't even see any peanut butter in there it smells good there mmm it's so good um, if you guys like peanut butter and cinnamon together you're gonna love it if you've never had peanut butter and cinnamon together just try it one time if you don't like it hey you know what you tried it that was so yummy I'm like I really love that I'm glad I did that today it made me very happy can't wait for you guys to try the peanut butter cinnamon oatmeal for your smart card power fuel in the afternoon. It'll make you do the happy dance, happy dance. Hey guys, welcome to my power fuel smart carb afternoon snack. We're going to be doing veggie burgers. I picked the Boca brand veggie burger because there's only um, four patties in the box and the box is a 10 ounce net weight. So if I divided that by four, I think I'm gonna get about a two and a half ounce burger out of each burger and we can have three ounces of a veggie burger that was just easiest for me pick whatever you guys like and i'm going to be topping it off with a little bit of hummus for my smart carb and wrapping it in butter lettuce for the bread and so i am i was really hungry still today after lunch and i walked away from the table so i didn't like continue trying to find something to eat because i knew i wasn't supposed to eat anything else and for lunch today i actually ate a pretty good lunch i had a three cheese melt with six olives and a side of cucumbers so i had quite a bit to eat but i still felt really famished so for today's afternoon smart carbon power fuel i'm kind of picking something a little bit bigger or heartier than i normally would so i'm going to go ahead and make that and and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. while I make my afternoon smart carb and power fuel. Today's a really rainy day, it's kind of cold here and I'm just feeling like chilling in my sweats. So that's what I'm doing. It's been a boring day because it's yucky outside. <laughs> but anyway, so now I'm gonna make my favorite afternoon power fuel drinks and that is a latte. There's not a lot of protein in this one so you kind of have to add a little bit to it. I do a latte and a string cheese. I'm gonna make my latte today with, with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Freeze-dried coffee, any kind of freeze-dried coffee you want, instant coffee, Folgers, Starbucks, doesn't matter. This is just the one that I have at home. My always trusty Truvia. I love Truvia, you guys. I know you know that, I say it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you what I do to make my latte. You guys will really love this. You can add cinnamon to it if you want like a cinnamon dolce type latte, but it's just really delicious. If you have an espresso machine at home, you can just steam your milk that way. I have to use my microwave, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I just used the Great Value unsweetened vanilla flavored almond milk. That's what I grabbed. That's just what was there. You measure out one cup of almond milk is 30 calories. So I measured a cup and a half, and then I'm going to be adding a string cheese to my protein for the day. So the calorie count for the string cheese and this amazing latte is 135 calories. So it's 15 calories over the 80 to 120 they want you to have for your power fuel. So I'm not really worried about it. That's just what I'm gonna do today. And then for my smart carb, I'm pairing it with a banana. 
just because I feel like eating a banana. I really wanted hummus today too, but since I had hummus already yesterday, I decided I would go ahead and eat something different because I tend to be one of those people that get stuck in a rut eating the same thing over and over again and then I get burned out. I'm trying to keep myself from doing that and I'm gonna eat a banana. Today and is today. the very last day of week five for me and I have to just be honest with you guys, this has been the hardest week I've had to go through since week one. I'm not sure why, I don't know what has been different, but it has just been a struggle. So I just wanna end this video with a real serious word of encouragement, not only to you, but to me. <laughs> I'm encouraging myself. So this week, it seems like all I wanna do is eat everything. And I really want to eat more than I should. I'm not doing any of those things, but I really want to. Like I'm battling the urges to do the things that I know aren't healthy for me and to do the things that I know would derail me from my goals and from the direction that I'm heading, but I'm having to fight those urges. It's kind of tough for me because I'm in this alone kind of, so that's why I really love reaching out to you guys and posting these videos because I feel like I'm not in it alone this way. I feel like I'm doing something with a group of people. And I appreciate you guys when you let me know that you feel the same way when you watch my videos. That makes me feel so good and so happy. You know, in some of my other videos, I've kind of shared with you guys about my struggle when it came to the way that I see dieting. I've seen it as an all or nothing thing. I either overeat or I undereat. I either eat so much that I'm bloated or I starve. There's no real good in-between for me. Being on Nutrisystem, there's an in-between. There's an in-between big time. I've been eating between 1100 and 1200 calories a day. I'm eating just my Nutrisystem food and I'm eating only what I'm allowed to eat. I'm not, you know, uh, going off course in any way. One of the reasons this week has been such a struggle for me is because I haven't really seen a lot of weight loss on the scale. And so when I don't see a lot of weight loss on the scale, my tendency is to throw my hands up and quit or say, I'm not eating anything. I won't, I refuse. I'm not eating anything till that number goes down. <laughs> and I'm just being very vulnerably honest and real here with you guys that that's exactly how my brain works. That's why I'm working so hard to rewire and let God heal those things that, you know, those wrong thought patterns or strongholds that I have about food in my mind. Because I, I recognize the path that I'm on. Self-evaluation is a really big deal. If you haven't stopped and taken a moment and thought, why do I think things? Why do I think this? Or why do I react or respond to certain things certain ways? If you haven't done that, it's a really good idea to do. You're not always gonna like the answers that you get maybe. You're not always gonna like the response from God when he tells you what you ask him for, but it's very important to do some self-eval on a pretty regular basis. Cause you can be blinded, like stick your head in the sand and hope that the lion doesn't eat you, but it's still gonna eat you, whether your head's in the sand or not. And I know that analogy is a little gruesome, but the thing of it is, the problem's not gonna go away just because we hide from it. So I do not wanna hide from my problems anymore. You know, I think it's just good to be honest with ourselves and say, you know what, we're never gonna have it all together completely and we're always going to be a work in progress. If we have this end goal in mind that we're supposed to be some perfectly chiseled, well manicured, no problems in life, got it together person, then we're setting ourselves up for failure. We are not perfect, we're human beings and we're flawed. That's why we need Jesus Christ. And I'm so grateful for him because goodness do I have a lot of issues. So why has this week been so difficult for me? First of all, because of the numbers on the scale not really changing. I didn't lose one pound until this morning, all week for seven days. I didn't lose anything. And I was so frustrated because I was like, seriously, what the world is happening? Every day that went by, the numbers on the scale didn't change. I kept resisting the urge to starve myself to stop eating um not completely i mean but to go really underneath the amount of calories that i needed and i found that i was doing it gradually every day without really realizing it so the urge was to not eat the urge was to eat less than i was supposed to eat to skip out of my vegetables skip a protein in the morning for two days i did that I didn't do it intentionally but I realized I did it I thought okay wow I didn't eat my protein with my breakfast yesterday 
and I only ate one serving out of four of my vegetables. Not cool. So I had it in my mind that, you know, the next day I would do better and I didn't do it better the next day. And then I got to yesterday and I was like, no, I, I'm eating everything I'm supposed to eat. I'm not skipping not one single thing and I'm gonna make sure I drink my water and I'm gonna stop, you know, doing this. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna under eat. I'm going to eat what I'm supposed to eat, healthy weight loss. I had to remind myself that healthy weight loss is one to two pounds a week. One to two pounds a week. It's really hard to be patient for that one to two pounds a week. So yesterday I was intentional, more so than I had chosen to be in the past few days. And I made sure that I ate everything I was supposed to eat. All my vegetable protein with breakfast, the protein mid-morning, and my protein and carb in the afternoon. And then at night, I ate my snack. And then I actually even ate a banana. And I ate a banana, which wasn't on my list at all. And that's the first time I've diverted. Because my body was saying I needed that banana. So I ate it. And that was right before bedtime. My muscles had just been really sore, so I went ahead and ate the banana. Well, I woke up this morning and weighed myself and I was down a pound. So now I'm down a total of 18 pounds in five weeks. So I finally lost that pound. And some days the scale was going down, but it wasn't going down in whole numbers. It was going down in ounces. And I was still disregarding those ounces as any kind of a win. And, <laughs> That one pound came off in like tiny little ounces every day and I wasn't even giving myself credit for it. So I struggled this week mentally and I struggled this week physically. I had to really recognize my triggers. So if you're doing Nutrisystem with a friend or a spouse, I am so excited for you and glad that you're doing that. Just hold each other accountable. Make sure that you have honest conversations with one another where you discuss your you know weak moments or your thoughts about food that maybe aren't healthy or you know your desires that you know i really wanted that pizza or i almost ate ice cream today and i know i shouldn't you know and again you can do those things eventually i'm not saying that you should never do those things it's just a matter of getting yourself to a healthy place to be able to do them without having to gain all the way back. There's really no point in spending all this time and sacrifice and money to lose all this weight just to gain it right back. And that's just what's gonna happen if we don't change something in ourselves. So if we wanna change something in our lives, we need to change something in our lives. And that means we have to start on the inside with our thinking, with our thoughts, because our thoughts produce our actions. So if we're thinking the wrong thoughts, eventually the wrong actions are gonna follow. And that's where I've been stuck. I've been thinking the wrong thoughts and it's showed up on my belly, <laughs> my thighs, my arms, you know, all those other areas that I don't want those wrong thoughts showing up on. <laughs> they have so if you're like me though and you're and you're doing it by yourself so to speak you don't have anybody around you that's dieting or cares to you know be healthier with you or any of that then reach you know reach out to me and reach out to some of the other people you'll see commenting on my videos and you know just say hey can we encourage one another would you be my accountability partner can I ping things off of you can you know can I let you know how I'm doing will you let me know how you're doing and find somebody you know, that you can trust, that's gonna encourage you, that's not going to give you the, it's okay, just eat it, it's no problem, answer. Because our friends wanna help us out, right? And <laughs> make, make us happy. So they want us to eat the, the donut, but we don't need the donut. <laughs> we need to stick to our healthy eating plan. So find somebody that you can trust, that you can be accountable with. Give yourself some grace and know that this is a journey and the journey is a process. It's gonna take time. And you know, you didn't get this way overnight and you're not gonna get better overnight. You're not gonna get, everything's not gonna just go away and be in the way that it should be overnight. So be patient with yourself and don't give up because the only way that you can fail at this diet or at anything in life is to quit and just say, forget it, I'm not doing it anymore. And it's easy to wanna do that. I wanted to do it this week. You know, just keep going and give yourself some grace when you trip up or fail. Just say, hey, that's okay. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do it again. Get rid of that all or nothing mentality and just say, you know, I just stumbled here. There was a pothole in my road, but I'm not letting that pothole like throw me off my path and divert me from the, 
the direction that I'm going. I hope this was a helpful video for you guys and hopefully like some of the smart carbs and power fuels that I shared with you earlier in the video. And if you did, please just give me a thumbs up and click subscribe if you're not a subscriber currently. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. It's just helping me meet my goals and um, of helping other women. So share it with your friends, share it on your social media if you want to. I would really appreciate you guys sharing the link and letting people that you know about my channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Hope that you have a great week and just keep going. Bye.